Jamaica Dyer is a graphic novelist based in San Francisco and one of the small press spotlight artists featured at the Cartoon Art Museum. Between her various projects, she finds time to update her webcomic on JamaicaD.com weekly. San Francisco Public Press met with Dyer to discuss her success and her upcoming Weird Fishes sequel. Weird Fishes actually started off with um, a college newspaper that I did a strip for. And at that point, Dee was known as Devour, and she was this fairly evil child. <laughs> and uh, she had her uh, goldfish and everything. And um, years later, I wanted to start a new comic series, and her character came up for me, and I, I, I wanted to explore her some more. I started putting them up during my senior year. Um, I, I feel like it was sort of a rebellious act that I was supposed to be applying to animation studios. Instead, I spent my spring break putting up like a webcomic. Um, but that was like the outlet I really needed and I've enjoyed it since then. I'm taking a lot more of a conscious use of the media this time where like all of Dee's stuff is watercolor and, and vibrant, whereas Bunny Boys is all black and white and very inky and kind of gritty and eventually they're going to meet up again and I'm interested to see how that's going to combine. <laughs> With a lot of webcomic artists, they are thinking about the screen and how it will be shown that way and ways to navigate it and like uploading like strips or instead of like pages that you can scroll on. But I, I, like, I like laying out a page that I, I'm always thinking at some point it's going to be printed this way.